With Smoke as his template, Noob Saibot planned to return to the Netherrealm and use Smoke's nanotechnology to create an army of cyborg demons. He was unaware that they were followed by someone Noob had not seen since before he became a wraith. Smoke instantly recognized their visitor. He was an echo of their past. He was Sub-Zero, Noob Saibot's brother. Noob Saibot was surprised to see how much stronger his brother had become. If he were still Lin Kuei, still human, he would probably have shown some degree of pride. But as Raiden had revealed during the ordeal with Shinnok's amulet, his soul had been tainted when he died at the hand of Scorpion. Noob Saibot, the original Sub-Zero, had descended into the Nether Realm free from compassion. He ordered Smoke to assist him in slaying his brother, his first act as ruler of the Nether Realm. With a flash, Blaze was defeated, and Noob Saibot found he was no longer standing atop the ancient pyramid, but in the center of a darkened arena. From the shadows, a figure slowly emerged. It was Sub-Zero, the warrior Noob had been before being slain by Scorpion. Sub-Zero had come to regain control of their divided soul. The two clashed, but neither could best the other. In the end, what emerged was a being that was neither Noob Saibot nor Sub-Zero, but something new. Quan Chi should never have resurrected Noob Saibot, nor should he have enhanced his power to defeat Shao Kahn. The revenant he created had broken free of his control. Noob had secretly formed an understanding with a cleric from the Realm of Chaos, and opened for him a portal to the Netherrealm. Shinnok, Quan Chi, and the Brotherhood of Shadow were unprepared as the forces of chaos overwhelmed them, leaving the underworld severely weakened. Satisfied with his work, the cleric, Havoc, returned to the realm of chaos. Noob Saibot remained to seize control of the Netherrealm. Kronika said I would lead the new era's deadliest clan. But she made such promises to many, she could never keep them all. So I betrayed her, before she could betray me. When Kronika's sands fused with my shadows, my ambitions grew. Why be a ruler of mortals, when I could rule destiny itself? Mortals resisted, but could not stop my blanketing history in cold, endless night. All is dark. All are shadows. 